Welcome, everybody. Welcome again to Coffee in the Word. I encourage you to get you a cup and get your Bible and take the next few moments with me and let's look at something that I believe is going to help you. You know, as I was praying about uh, bringing a message to you, bringing a little instruction, something to edify and encourage you today, I just kept getting in my spirit here from Acts chapter the 14th chapter in Acts and verses 21 and 22 says this, Paul talking about himself, he says, And when they had preached the gospel to that city and made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch. Now listen to what he says, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, and saying, we must through many tribulations enter the kingdom of God. Where tribulations are hardship. Notice here, Paul was encouraging them. He was strengthening them in their souls. Now, these are disciples. A disciple is one who's who's embraced the teachings of Jesus and set himself to imitate Christ in his walk and to do the works of of the Lord. So these are people that are all in, and yet Paul is strengthening them in their souls. Your souls, your mind, your will, your intellect. And then he tells them this. He taught them and encouraged them to continue in the faith saying that we must through many tribulations and hardships enter the kingdom of God. What's that mean? Sometimes living for God is not the easiest thing in the world to do. And the devil is going to be out there trying to attack your faith and defeat you and get you to quit and give up. And so Paul is telling them, you stay in the faith. And and don't be surprised when you come up against tests and trials and hardships. You see, that's going to come against you. You don't have to be out of the will of God to, to be in a hardship. You don't have to be out of the will of God to be in a test. But Paul is writing to them here, and he's encouraging them. Don't let the enemy stop you from walking in the things of the kingdom of God. You have righteousness. You have peace with God. You have joy. You have faith. You have authority in Christ Jesus. But the devil will try to come through a hardship, through a test, through a trial to get you to give up. And where does he attack? In your soul, in your mind, your will, your intellect, your emotions. And so what is Paul saying? He's saying, listen, you've got to get a hold of your mind. You got to get a hold of your thoughts. You got to get a hold of, of your emotions. And you're going to have to really press in because to enter in to the things God has for you, there could be some hardship. There could be some tests. There could be some obstacles that are facing you. And you know, Paul is really qualified to share this with him because if you jump up a couple of verses, in verse 19 of this 14th chapter of Acts, it says this, Then Jews from Antioch and Iconium came there, and having persuaded the multitudes, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing him to be dead. However, when the disciples gathered around him, and rose up, he rose up and went into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derby. Notice this, Paul had just been stoned and left for dead. I mean, the man is a, he's, he's, looks terrible. He's just had a rough time. People were stirred up. I mean, the very people he's trying to reach began to stone him and drag him out of the city and say, it serves him right. Well, you see, Paul then turns to the disciples and says, let me strengthen you. Now, listen, if you're going through a test today or hardship today, don't quit. Don't give up. Use that as an opportunity to prove your faith. Use that to bring your mind in control and your thoughts under control. Use that to grow. And then when you make it through your test, you'll be able to do what Paul said. Listen, I've been there. I've suffered. I've had some hardship. I've had some times where it didn't look like it was worth it, but I pressed on and you can too. So you can take your hardship and turn it into an opportunity to prove God's faithfulness. Also, you can take it as an opportunity to overcome a test and turn it into a testimony. And when you do, you'll be blessed, your faith will be strengthened, and you'll be able to encourage others. So today, whatever you're going through, keep fighting. Whatever you're facing, keep standing. Get control of what you feel, get control of your emotions, and press in and realize it is sometimes hard to get over to what God has for you, but the victory is worth fighting the battle. So keep fighting, keep standing, keep believing, keep pressing on, and watch God do a mighty work in your life. Hope this has encouraged you. We've enjoyed being with you. Until the next time, I'm praying for God's very best to be yours.